What's up, y'all? It's Jeffrey back here at Flipping Profit, where we create financial freedom one flip at a time. In today's video, we're going to be looking at a top 10 what sold in the month of December in the shoes category. If you've been following the last few days, I'm actually doing like a top 30 what sold in the month of December, but in three different categories, electronics, clothing, and shoes. So if you missed those videos, definitely go back and check those out. And in today's video, we're just going to be focusing on the top 10 shoes that sold in the month of December. And I actually did filter the sales by uh, total profit, greatest to least. Don't know why I couldn't figure out how to say that very simply in the videos before, but that's what I was meaning to say. <laughs> So we're gonna be looking at the shoes that sold for the most on down to the least. But before we do that, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. We're getting close to 1500 subs. So um, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you subscribe because I'll be doing a uh, eBay gift card giveaway as well as a hair reveal. So with that being said, let's get into the video. So first up, we got some Nike Air Jordan 9 Retro for uh, men's size 14, white, black, university blue, um, is the color scheme on those. I picked these up, uh, picked three pairs up from a flea market, paid $70 total for all three pairs. So that's roughly about $23 a piece, which is uh, kind of ironic for a pair of Jordans. But the, these are the ones that sold for the most and they were the most valuable ones that I picked up. Um, so yeah, paid 23 bucks. They sold for $130 plus free shipping. I had them originally listed for I think $149.77. And uh, when somebody sent an offer of 130 I went ahead and took it. So really good profit on those. Went ahead and paid for the whole lot and still made some money on top. Next up are a pair of Gravity Defier shoes. Um, these are kind of like uh, walking shoes or orthopedic shoes. Picked these up at the Goodwill for $4. And they were in very good condition, almost like new. And they sold for $49.77. That's with free shipping. Um, that's exactly what I was asking for. And they sold relatively quick. So... Um, Pretty good item there. Definitely a good brand to look out for in the future and uh, made some pretty good profit. Next up are another pair of uh, Jordans that I picked up at that flea market. Um, once again, paid $23 for these and took a best offer of $45. I'm pretty sure I had them listed for $49.77. So uh, I think they sent an offer of $40. I counter offered with $45 and they went ahead and took it. So very nice Nike Air Jordan 1 mid uh, men's size 14 pretty good uh, profit on these as well next up are some Puma Ignite uh, these are uh, black spikeless uh, pro golfing shoes got these at the thrift store for four bucks as well four or five something like that and uh, yeah very good margins on them I think I had them listed for about 4477 something like that and uh, took a best off for 3850 once again, somebody was sending me, you know, some, uh, I think they started at about $30 and we negotiated the price back and forth and eventually settled on $38.50. So, uh, pretty good profit there. That's with free shipping. I don't think the, it cost over 10 bucks to ship them. So, uh, made some pretty good margins and yeah, pretty good sale. Next up are these FootJoy shoes. Um, picked these up at the thrift store not too long ago for $3. Um, really nice condition. It was easy to clean them up. They were a little dusty and they, the leather wasn't showing through very good, but it was very easy to clean those up. Um, I listed them for $39.77 and took a best offer of $38. That's with free shipping. And once again, the cost of shipping shoes isn't that expensive. So when you reach a sale like $38, the margins are great. Next up are some UGG uh, Brian men's shoes, brown leather sheepskin moccasin slippers type of shoe. Uh, picked these up at the thrift store. Actually paid a pretty good bit for them. Um, paid 15 bucks for them. And I was expecting to bring about 40 bucks or so. Um, but they really weren't in the best condition as uh, like the other ones that have sold before. So when I got an offer for around 34 bucks, I went ahead and took it. And so, like I said, I did pay up for those. Didn't make too much profit, but we still made profit. It wasn't that much to ship these. So I easily covered the cost. And still made some money on top. Next up are some more Puma shoes. Uh, these are the Puma basket shoes. Uh, men's size 13. Gray sneaker athletic shoes. Kind of like some basketball shoes and whatnot. Very nice condition. And they sold for what I was asking for. $29.77 with free shipping. So pretty good flip. Next up we got some Morel shoes. These are some women's um, Encore Q2 slide shoes. Uh, black leather slip-on shoes. They look kind of like clogs, mules, or whatnot. Um, and yeah, sold these full price, $29.77 with free shipping. So uh, another good flip, pretty good profit. Next up are some Nike Air Max shoes from 2015. 
women's running shoes. Picked these up at the thrift store a little while ago. My girlfriend actually liked them and wore them around for a little bit and um, didn't wear them out too much and uh, she actually got some new shoes and they were crowding up her closet so she said I could go ahead and sell them and uh, we still made some profit on them. I think I paid four bucks for them at the Goodwill like I said a while back and uh, they sold for $29.83 with free shipping. And last but not least here are some Asics men's shoes the uh, GT1000 running athletic shoes nice and uh, gray and blue pattern on it um, sold for full price twenty nine dollars and seventy seven cents with free shipping so a uh, pretty good profit on those I'm pretty sure I paid three bucks for those at, a, at the uh, thrift store and uh, yeah like I say good margins so that's gonna be it for the top 10 what sold in the month of December in the uh, shoes category I really hope you guys enjoyed this series like I said I had so many uh, good sales and I wanted to break them down in different categories hope you guys have enjoyed it make sure you hit that like button and subscribe once we get to 1500 subs I'm gonna be doing a uh, gift card giveaway so make sure you're subscribed and as well at 1500 subs we're gonna be doing a hair reveal also if you want some more tips on how to sell on eBay then check out some of my playlists List. and if you're new to reselling and want some shipping supplies on the cheap cheap check out some of my affiliate links down in the description if you purchase something through one of those links I do make a small commission on it and directly help support the channel so I really appreciate it it helps buy things like gift cards to give away to you guys so make sure you're subscribed make sure you use those links and until I see you next time keep flipping